Hi, Doug here. So the popularity of the last taking pie to 1 billion digits for a walk video blew up. I didn't expect that. I would have uploaded a higher res video. It was more just an experiment to see what would happen. So I'm gonna try to walk through more about what it was about, what's going on, and what you're looking at right now. So this is happening in real time. This is 1 billion digits, well technically 626 million digits of E, mathematical constant. So origin is somewhere around the middle here, and it started deviating out this way, wrapped around, came down here, went over here, and now it's heading over this direction. So it's actually kind of clustering around the origin, which is awesome, but there are patterns that seem to be emerging in here. When it first started, it created this little nodule, came down, did this nodule, came down, did this nodule, came down. That, I mean, I'm probably seeing uh, chaos here is patterns, but it looks pattern-esque to me, again, I don't know, I'm doing this just for fun. Thanks to a lot of your guys' suggestion, I was, was able to make my code a little bit more efficient. I'm not a programming expert, but currently I am only using 31.9 gigs of RAM. So it's definitely more efficient. Just for reference, a one billion digit text file is over one gigabyte in size. Um, they're big numbers you have there are big files you have to manipulate around and I'm loading it currently all into RAM and manipulating it that way. It's not very efficient, but it's what I know. I'm using old software called processing. So what you're actually looking at here, you say, you see it really running in real time. You see these different colors. What these color represent for me is different processing chunks. So to graph it in real time is very computational intensive, especially for the software, and it would take forever to draw it all. So I'm breaking it down into large chunks of digits. This one, I forget, I think it was 1 million digits. So for every 1 million digits, it does it in the background, remembers the XY coordinate change, and then graphs it in one burst, and then goes back and calculates again. I could have it graph this entire chart at once, but it wouldn't be fun to watch. So that's kind of why it's running the way it is. And again, it's running a lot more efficient now. Uh, this particular server is even faster, so you can actually see the stuff moving around pretty quickly. You can see it's chugging through a million digits at a time. We're almost to 700 million at the moment. So this mathematical constant is E. Let's show you some other cool ones. So I was curious what a random number would actually look like. So this here is a pseudo random number. This is what you would get if you typed in RAND in a random software. It's generated algorithmically, so it's not purely random. As you can see, here's the origin. It did start to cluster random, but as time went on, it started telling a different story and it started drifting off to the left. So again, there's some bias there. So next, I generated a purely random number, and this is very difficult for a computer to do. I was able to access Intel hardware directly to take in the uh, hardware bias, so basically atomic differences that I'm able to use as seeding for the random number generator, which cryptographically is considered purely random. So that's what you're seeing here. Here's the origin. You can see it kind of clustered over, came down over this way, and then ventured off this way, and then eventually shot off the screen a little bit over here when it got to 1 billion digits. So again, that was interesting, but I was like, why do these veer off? Why was this this big tendril in the middle? Again, these are things you have to do with large sample sizes. I'd have to run this five times to generate the files. Speaking of which, generating 1 billion digits of hardware compensated random numbers takes a while. Even with the server running whatever, 40 cores, it still took about half an hour to generate those digits to fill up that one gigabyte text file. So again, this takes time, so I'm gonna work my way through it. But if you have numbers and digits you wanna see drawn, let me know. I'll run them through, I'll put them on priority. Uh, I can do um, pi, phi, e, Euler's constant, square root of two, uh, log two, log three, log 10, uh, golden ratio, whatever you want. Let me know, as long as I can find a text file with a billion digits in it, or it's easy to generate that file, I'll be happy to run it for you guys. Now, most of you stayed along this long may have an idea what's going on, but if not, let me try to explain a little bit more. So when I start at the origin, imagine a circle around your feet, that, like you're standing on a clock face, and that is digits zero through nine. If your first number is five, you rotate to five, you take one step in that direction. You now look at your clock again. Next number is, say is four, you rotate to four, take another step. My thought is a purely random number, the likelihood of the next number being zero through nine is one in 10. So it should be purely random. So in theory, the deviation should cluster around the center here. And the current resolution is 4K on this, so around 4,000 pixels. So that deviation right now is within 4, or well, technically 2,000 pixels of center. So it's staying very clustered to the center. So E seems to be a pretty random number over its large course of run, which most of us would expect. Looks like it just ran off the screen here and we're at 800 million digits. Oh, it's hanging out in the corner. So I thought you guys would get a kick out of this. Uh, for you remembering those, this is what pi looks like. It kind of made this 
continental earth look to it which was fascinating and you could see these little tendrils that started to draw and did a large cluster of randomness and then it deviated then random then devious then random and so forth it's fun uh, again they don't have to have the colors it just helps me if you would like to see a video of it zoomed in seeing each digit being drawn in real time i'm happy to do that feel free to let me know again i got a lot of subscribers here so that tells me you guys really like this kind of content i'm glad you're as passionate about random numbers as i am and seeing them on a screen so again give me your input in the comments down below let me know what you're thinking let me know what i could do better or things i might be able to change i'm open to any input here again i'm just doing this for fun it was a hunch I was curious if doing a walk of digits could show true randomness slash patterns and if you could see things that you normally wouldn't find and these kind of numbers at this scale. Again, you're now looking at 870 million digits of E right in front of your face right here. I mean, where else would you be able to do that? It's really fascinating to see all the little patterns that emerge out of the chaos. So again, I appreciate you guys hanging through and watch this. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching.